Hey guys, Dr. Norris here at Coro Chiropractic, and today we're at F45 and working on some spinal hygiene. And one thing I see pretty much uh, almost guaranteed with anybody who sits at a desk, a lot of my practice members have what we call anterior head translation, or also known as forward head posture. So uh, my assistant Amy here is gonna really demonstrate that. Now she's kind of exaggerating a little bit, but oftentimes what we see with forward head posture, and I'm sure you see this in your coworkers and your family's members, you might even have recognized it in yourself. But what you see is that if you look at the hole of the ear, it's not lining up with the shoulder, right? So pr perfect posture would be the ear, chin tucked in, ear over the shoulder, over the hip, the knee, and the ankle, okay? What we typically see with anterior head translation or forward head posture is that head comes forward, the shoulders roll forward, you get the hunching of the back, and then that kind of leads to all kinds of spinal health issues, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you three really specific exercises that you can do to help correct forward head posture, okay? So the first one, and you don't need to really know the muscles as much, I'm gonna mention them. Don't worry about so much the muscle, just work through the ranges of motion, find the, the, the sticky spot, the stiff area, and try to stretch it out, okay? So the first one you're gonna do, you're actually gonna be stretching your sternocleidomastoid, your SEM, which runs from your skull to your collarbone right here. So what Amy's gonna do is she's gonna put her head essentially back and over her right shoulder. Now you'll see she gets a big nice stretch down through that muscle right there, right? And she's gonna hold it for about 10 seconds, right? Get that nice deep stretch. Now one thing that's really important when you're doing things like this is you're breathing, right? If you don't breathe, that muscle is gonna stay tense, it's not gonna relax. So then you can kind of roll the head around, make sure it's nice and relaxed, and now do the other side, please. Excellent, so what you're gonna see is again that big stretch all the way from the ear down to the shoulder blade, or collarbone here, sorry. Now, the next one you wanna do is you're gonna to need to stretch your scalene, specifically your anterior scalene. Now this is the one that if you ever had that pain that feels like it's under your collarbone, it's almost coming out of your chest, that's that one right there. So again, what happens is when the shoulders get really tight, these muscles up front get really tight, the ones that are on the back and they might feel stiffer, they might feel more fatigued, they might even be spasming, that's because they're actually already overstretched, okay? It's called upper cross syndrome. You can research it, you can Google it, it's pretty easy to understand. But what we're doing here is just trying to correct that today. So what we're gonna do is have you put your head to the side and then put that sh head back over the shoulder there. So even though it looks very similar to the other one, it's the way that you set it up. So again, she went to the side first then let the head dump over the shoulders. And when she does it again to the other side, she's really feeling the stretch, specifically almost like pinpoint, right in that one spot. So it's not down the whole neck, it almost feels like you're stretching your, your rib cage out. Is that right? Okay. Now the final one is gonna be working on your suboccipital muscles right here. So again, you get into that crouching position, well that gets really tight at the very top of your spine. So what you can do is you can take a tennis ball, lacrosse ball, or one of those little grippy massage balls, and you can do this yourself. What you do is you simply you put it under the back of the head right here, and it's gonna find that nice little spot, that little cushion under your skull, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tuck your chin in and out, right? So she's just simply trying to tuck the chin, but the, muscle, the ball actually almost acts as a massage. It's gonna be working through those muscles, and then you're gonna kinda wanna turn your chin a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, and you'll feel them work a little bit more on the left and right in that case, okay? Excellent, so let me help you up here. <clears throat> so you could be doing those exercises probably a couple times a day, honestly, especially if you sit a lot. That's something great to be doing in the morning, but also in the afternoon after hours and hours of sitting, that's a way that you can counteract all that desk time, okay? Just remember, sitting is the new smoking. It's a, considered a sedentary lifestyle. And if you're sitting for seven or eight hours a day, there's no difference between that. Even though you're working, there's no difference between that and sitting on the couch and eating Cheetos all day. So make sure you're counteracting in some sort of way. Uh, get your normal, your regular adjustments, but also doing what we call spinal hygiene, and that's doing these specific corrective exercises to keep your spine as healthy as long as possible. So please click the link below to subscribe to our channel. Uh, and then also the link right here, which is to our website, you can learn more about Coro Chiropractic and how neurologically based care can benefit you and your health. Thanks guys.